more months, four more months, four more months! I bet you're excited, huh? Oh, my. I, uh, I could be excited. I don't really know. I wasn't really thinking. Come on, you gotta be excited! Oh, well, I guess maybe I'm a little kind of sort of excited. I thought so! Yeah, so, um, why am I excited? Because the next Daring Do book is coming out exactly four months from today! That's how exciting it is! So, what amazing, incredible, awesome adventure do you think Daring Do will have in her next book, huh? Will she at long last stalk the Fortress of Talacon? Only to be forced to contend with its dreaded and impenetrable arrow defense? And if so, could her skill, quick wits, and courage possibly carry the day? Oh! Will her next adventure bring her face to face with the vast and horrible Aoi Zodal himself? Would she cower, turn tail and run? Oh, would she fly at him full bore, knowing full well against all odds that the greatest challenge she ever faced was still sure to be no match for? <gasps> Look out! Oh, I'm not so sure she's gonna last another four months. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Three months and 26 days. Three months and 26 days. Three months and 26 days. Hey, Twilight. Aren't you excited that... <laughs> You finally made it. What's every pony doing here? We're having a holiday party. <laughs> so, what holiday would today be? National Random Holiday Party Day. I've never heard of it either, but the punch is quite tasty. You might say the secret ingredient is a secret. <laughs> How come no pony bothered to invite me? I came to invite you personally. But it seems you were a speck too busy reading the last Daring Do book for the twelfth time. Yeah, well, in three months and 26 more days, I'll be able to read the next one. Oh, haven't you heard? The release of the next book got pushed another two months. Two more months? I've been waiting so long already. I don't think I can take another two months. I'll never make it. Yeah, I can vouch for that. Did they give a reason? The publisher just said author A.K. Yearling won't be able to finish the book for another two months. Cupcakes? How could you possibly know that before me? I'm the series' biggest fan. I'm just as big a fan as you. In fact, I'm the one who first introduced you to the books, remember? Oh, right. A.K. Yearling just might be my favorite author. I know everything about her. Where she grew up, where she studied literature, where she wrote the first Daring Do book. Where she lives? Uh, no. Oh, I could probably find out somehow. Why? Don't you get it? The new book is obviously delayed because she needs help dealing with whatever everyday nonsense is distracting her from spending her every living, breathing second writing. So I, I mean, fans like me, can get to read the next book ASAP. Think about it. We could help her with her laundry, buying her groceries, cooking her meals, whatever. Now, who wouldn't appreciate that? Hmm, I don't know. What she probably wants most of all is respect for her privacy. She can always just say no. Uh, I suppose you're right. Of course I am. So, what's about getting that address? See what I mean? Why would she live in this remote part of Equestria except to keep folks from intruding on her privacy? We should respect... I think I spotted the house! We're super close! This way! Wait! Oh, no. What happened? Apparently, some pony has intruded on her privacy pretty hard already. Hey, 
Some pony really trashed this place. Hmm, maybe. Or maybe AK Yearlings is a terrible, horrible, unbelievable snob. I hope AK Yearlings all right. Oh no, what if something terrible happened to her? I know, there might be no more books. Uh, but of course, I'd be worried about her, too. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Uh, A, K, Yearling? We didn't do this, we swear. What have you done to my house? We didn't do this, Ms. Yearling. Whoa. We're awfully glad to see you're all right. Okay, clearly this isn't the best time, but I just gotta say how much we all really love your books. <laughs> huh. It's safe. Great. Maybe now would be a good time for me to ask her how we can help move the new book along a little faster. Chop, chop. Rainbow Dash, a minute, please. A.K. Yearling has made it pretty clear that she wants to be left alone. We need to respect her wishes. You should tell that to those guys. and Daring Do are one in the same. My mind is officially blown. Ah, come on, I knew it all along. Many thanks, Daddy Do. As you probably surmised, our earlier search for this treasure was unsuccessful. So kind of you to find it for us. Give it back, Caballeron! That's Dr. Caballeron to you. He's from Book 4, Daring Do and the Razor of Dreams. He wanted to partner with Daring Do on her adventures. I know, but she refused. I can't believe it. The real Daring Do and the real Caballeron! So let me guess. Awizoto has put you up to this. You're stealing the ring to give to him, so his hold on the Fortress of Talakon will be good for eight centuries as foretold by prophecy. Close, but no. I'm going to sell this to him, make a bundle, and retire from archaeology in splendor. Kepler on you fool! You're dooming the valley to eight centuries of unrelenting heat! To market hit ponies! Uh, should we go in and help her maybe? Oh, oh right. right. <gasps> Are you okay? I got this. Um, she was just trying to help Miss Do. Daring Do doesn't need help. She handles her business herself. We gotta go help! You heard her. She says she works alone. How can we just stand by and do nothing? You know what's at stake here? Always Odal has sought control of the Tenok Teethlin Basin since book three. True, but in Book 4, she defeated Awazotl and secured control of the Amulet of Atonement, dispelling the dark magic of the Quetzalcoatl Empress, and thus protecting the basin with the Radiant Shield of Razdan. But the Radiant Shield of Razdan is vulnerable to the dark enchantment of the Rings of Scorchero! But are you forgetting that the rings were scattered to the four corners of Tenochtitlan, thus rendering the dark enchantment powerless? 
Only if you assume that the rings have yet to be retrieved, and the ring Cavalaran just stole isn't the last to completely restore the Dark Tower and its cruel hold on Tenok Teeplat. Did you ever think of that? You gotta admit, Rainbow Dash makes a pretty good point. We gotta help Gearing to retrieve the ring for safekeeping before it's too late. <sighs> okay, but sounds to me like we're in way, way, way over our heads. We're going to need a carefully thought out plan. I'm coming, Gearing Do! Come on. Bingo! Here I come, Daring Do, to join an adventure with the greatest, bravest, coolest, most incredible hero I could ever. <laughs> okay, maybe I just need a sec. Just another adventure. No big deal. Get a grip! I got this. Though, doing it alongside Daring Do. Wow, maybe I could get my picture taken with her or an autograph. There you go again. She's just a pony like any other pony. A pony who stops entire armies of bad guys with nothing more than her bare hooves and an attitude and... Ow! <laughs> That's starting to hurt. Go! 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 Stop! Oh, it's just you. Wait! Think fast. This is your big chance to impress her with your quick wit and courage. I am such a huge fan. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Let me help you. I promise I can be a huge, huge help if you just give me a chance. I work alone. Why won't you let me team up with you just this once? My work always involves secrets. And since you never know who you can trust, it's best never to trust any pony. But just because you can't trust some doesn't mean no pony can be trusted. Look, I don't have time to argue. Neither do I. Let's go. <sighs> I can't believe I'm even talking to her. They decided to have an early dinner before making their way back down the hill to the marketplace in town. Oh, I see. You're gonna ambush them like you did in book four of the Arabian Caves. Or maybe that neat trick you did in book three, where you swoop in and knock three guys down with one swing. Or maybe... Okay, I'll be quiet now. Just watching very quietly. <laughs> Shh. So, what kind of ambush are you gonna use then? I've been led to believe you have in your possession an item of significant importance that might be for sale. Oh, um, well, I did have another buyer like that, but he's not here, so sounds like we have a deal. <laughs> She's got this? The ring, Daring Do. Give it to me. Now, Arizoto, you know I love you, but I can't give you the ring till I've properly proposed. <laughs> Interesting, because my friends here have a proposal of their own. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
plenty. What have I done? Oh, thank goodness you're all right! Quick, where does it hurt? In here. Daring Do and the ring have been captured by the dreaded Awizoto, and it's all my fault. <gasps> Dash, I'm sure whatever you did was an honest mistake. Whatever. Let's just go home. We can't go back now. Looks a mite like she needs our help more than ever. Trying to help is how I got in this mess in the first place. You were right, Twilight. Should have stayed out of this. Look, there's more going on here than meets the eye. In every Daring Do book, there always is. We can't turn our backs on her. She doesn't want my help, Twilight. Perhaps, but she might need it anyway. No, my hero's way better off without me. This don't sound like you. Where's the Rainbow Dash would help any pony at the drop of a hat? Or Pith Helmet, as the case may be. She's here where she's got no business being. She should be at home. It's fine to look up to Daring Do, but you've put her so high up on a pedestal, you can't even see your own worth anymore. She's in the fortress, and we're here, and we wouldn't be who we are if we didn't go in after her. And neither would you. So, are you with us or not? I must leave to commence the ring-placing ceremony to unleash 800 years of unrelenting, sweltering heat! to save myself, you know. Of course. I just thought you might need this. Have I mentioned yet that I work alone? Have I mentioned yet that you're lucky I don't? <sighs>
seek revenge! Could never have done this without you, Rainbow Dash. I've got a book to finish! Just had the coolest adventure with the coolest pony ever! Came this close to blowing it because I got so wrapped up in how awesome she was, I almost forgot about how awesome I was! Good thing I didn't, because it gave me a chance to show her how important it is to put your trust in some pony else. Package from AK Yearling? Sweet! The new book a week before any pony else gets it! <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Saturdays, the Hub Network gives you a reason to celebrate. Brand new episodes of My Little Pony are here. Pony up. All new challenges, all new villains, and a new quest that could change the destiny of Ponyville forever. Oh. My Little Pony.